Hey everyone, in this quick video I'll be showing you 10 cool web design tips on how to create a stunning page for your next website, page or a funnel. Let's get started. Alright, so the first series of tips is going to be one of the most important ones, which is the arrangement of your content. This is the alignment and how to structureize your content on the page to make it very appealing for the visitors. This is very important for a few reasons. First is readability. Very easy for the user when they visit your page to actually understand the content and what exactly you're trying to you know, show them. So what is the idea here? That everything is about symmetry and to have it very consistent. So as you can see in this template design, you have everything aligned very well. We have it on this side and you can arrange the content into different sections like in this. But everything is very consistent and very symmetrical. Everything is the same size, uh, the same you know structure that is using. And as you can see here, we have again a uh, very good structure and everything is organized into columns and into blocks. And this is the building structure of our system. So we'll be showing you right now how to actually organize your content very easily. Like I said, everything is structurized. I start with the top part in blocks. So the blocks is basically like everything on the in the world. Everything is from top to bottom, from left to right or right to left, depending on where you're uh, in the world. But yeah, it has a, a hierarchy of the way you structurize your content. So in this case, we have this block where we have our top section. And as you can see, you have your content left to right. Of course, you can, depending on how you want to structure your content, uh, you can have it in the middle or in the right side. But the idea is that you have it all organized into a row of elements and then into a column. In this case, we've just separated into two columns so that via the columns we can uh, easily adjust how you want this content to be displayed. And when I personally do any type of a left aligned type of content, for me, a design wise, it's a lot better to have the content uh, like this, not stretched to the whole width of the column, like in one, because that's too much of a, of a text. It's nice to separate, to have a separate section for the main thing of your page. So either you can do it with the handles or just have a second column and organize it like this. I think it's a lot easier this way and it's about the whole um, you know, structure of your, of your block. Same goes anywhere. I mean, the blocks are the building elements of any website. So it doesn't matter what kind of a system you're using. Like in this case, we use the columns again to separate our content and make it very symmetrical and very well aligned. So make sure that you use the columns to organize your content to you know, create the, the design that you want. Everything is made via columns and via the tracks of the, of the handles, you can adjust how big those columns you want them to be. So when you want to create some kind of uh, you know, alignment between the different elements, just use the handles of the columns uh, to create this extra spacing, for example and to adjust however you want uh, the design to look like. Uh, and yeah, if you want to add, let's say, another strip here of more uh, information at the bottom, structurized in a different way, sharing the same block, you can simply click on here and add a new row. So basically within the same block, we have two rows, one for this content area and one for this one. And if you want to have it at the bottom, you can just move it down. So now here we can add something completely different, maybe have it a different color or separate it into three different uh, sections and add our elements. This way we can easily organize your content, which is one of the most important parts when you're building any type of a page of a website, funnel, store, whatever it is. All right, so the next tip is about padding, and this is the most common mistake that we see with people building a website and pages in general. It's not leaving enough space. So this is very essential for any design, not just in web, but anywhere in the world, is to leave your design, your whatever it is, to breathe. So you have to have breathing room. So as you can see, it's very simple here to create your padding. And the padding is very easily made between different elements and in the for the blocks as well. 
And yeah, let's start with the block itself. It's good to have padding on top of and bottom so that you have a good readability again of your content. So when the visitor comes into your page, they see again, the, the it's very well organized in terms of again, the symmetry, plus the padding being on top and on bottom so that you have enough readability of the text and showcasing the image or whatever it is, if it's a video or something else. So it's a lot easier this way. Uh, now, between the different elements, instead of having them very clunked together, I mean, in this case, we have padding, so this is good, but having something like this is not a good design. So always make sure that you just grab the handle and create padding. This will help your design breathe to have, you know, very good distinguish between the different sections and their idea. So make a bit more padding to create it more readable and easy to understand from your visitors. So make sure you do it everywhere for all the, you know, all the places, play around with the padding. As you can see, it's very, very simple here as well. Make sure that it's not like this. This is not a good design because there is not enough space, breathing room for this headline. This is a very, very common mistake that we see from many users. So make sure that it is very symmetrical as well. So if you have it at 25 pixels here, make sure that you have 25 all the way in your design so that you have a very consistent design. So consistency and padding are very, very important parts of, of any, any design. And as you can see, any block that you also add from the design array of different elements that we have here, uh, everything comes with great paddings. So let's say that we want to add something like services, for example, let's say this one. And as you can see, it comes with great paddings. You have great padding on top, you have great padding on the bottom, and you can easily adjust them if it's too much for you. Of course, you can adjust it, but don't have it like that, it's very clunk together. That's not good design. So make sure that you have good enough spacing between your different blocks and uh, between your you know, edges of your columns and different content that you have on the page. So the next thing about consistency, we'll talk about global colors and fonts. So basically, when you want to be consistent with your design, it is very important not just to have like the same, you know, visual representation in terms of, uh, you know, you know, spacing and stuff, but also in terms of fonts and colors. So how do you do that? All the templates, of course, come with that already in place, but how you can also modify them really easy yourself from your global styling. So clicking on the global styling, you can access the text and the color uh, globals. So first of all, you can add different fonts here if you want to add something different uh, for your uh, pages. So now let's start with the text. By default, every template comes with all this very consistent with the same fonts from the H tags. The H tags are basically all the headlines that you have on your pages, which is important for Again, readability, uh, visualization, and for SEO purposes as well. So make sure that you use the same font throughout your whole, you know, global styling for all the H tags. And you can use another font, for example, for the paragraphs, as it is different type of more readable text. This one is more about emphasizing on the specific uh, section and in service, whatever it is that you're trying to portray. So make sure that you adjust it from here. The H1 tag is this uh, top section, so you can adjust it for all the places that H1 is being used. So you can easily do it globally throughout your whole website or a funnel or whatever page it is. So that you're consistent throughout the whole the whole experience of the user this is very important and the cover as well so you can adjust it you can do different uh, adjustments there and click on confirm when you're ready so to make sure that you use the default size without uh, you know adding it yourself from here you can just click on the clear um, setting so basically that will clear all the styling and of course you can just add the cover everything else is the same and when you modify it from here it will affect every on all the places. Of course, you can also make it bold. That will not affect the global styling. So this is it. This is how simple it is to globally modify different texts and uh, places throughout your design to be consistent. As we see it, a lot of uh, you know people have this mistake that these texts are different. Maybe this one would be 14 pixels with slightly different different color, for example, which is not a good 
good design. It shows that it's not very professionally made because you have a clear distinction between these two. Uh, and it's maybe people do not see it right away. Maybe it's something that you say it's it's very picky. But actually, this your brain recognizes it and it basically sends a signal. No, this is this is not right. This is uh, when it is like that. It basically shows. And not a very professional design and leads to very not not very much a professional service maybe so you can lose customers because of not a very professional looking pages so that's why we try to help you with that now the next thing is the global colors which is very much similar we have global palette and uh, all the templates basically come with these colors in place and let's say in this case we have this you know, like uh, yellowish goldish uh, color and of course you can change it to wherever you wish and easily you can modify it throughout the whole design so that you're very consistent you have one or two brand colors me personally like one but uh, in some designs you can have two but more than that is just too much the next colors you can just use for different places so that you don't have to modify it all the time you can just like in this stripe you can just use one of the global colors for darker uh, backgrounds you can use another color and you can globally modify it like this so just like that we've changed our color to all the places and everything is very consistent very much the same so this is very good in terms of design and consistency now this tip is mainly focused towards content and visualization. What do I mean by that? We see a lot of mistakes a lot of people are doing where they have too much text, for example, or their pages, which is not very good for a website. The idea of any page is to give just enough information to take the interest of the user to take an action. Now, if you want to have a lot of text, that's for blog posts, that's for pages mostly focusing towards that type of uh, content. But for, for example, for home pages, there the idea is to portray as easy as possible because you have very limited time to capture the visitor's attention. So make sure that you have very straight to the point headlines, not too much text. So don't add like, you know, three paragraphs of text like this. Basically, not a lot of people will start reading that. You just need to summarize in one or two sentences the most important part so that the people can go down and find more and more information about what they're looking for. So here, just a sentence or two about the service and some cool visualization of that. So visualization is very important as well because as you probably have heard before, an image tells a hundred, a thousand words. So it is important to have some way of visualization of different services to break down the content. So it's not just, you know, text. And this is a good other option for, um, you know, sh portraying information, not just text, 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 but have, you know, different way of breaking down the 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 design so basically you have here this then you have a few you know benefits maybe uh like here is just with with some uh, sentence uh, at the bottom so make sure that it's not too clunked with text uh, and have enough visualization throughout your design so that it's very pleasing and people can progress from one section to another section to another section and find just enough information so that they can go and take an action all right, so this tip is more about, you know, making your design a bit more playful and fun. So instead of having always this, you know, just straight um, segmentations between uh, the different uh, blocks, which is, first of all, very important to segment them and to separate them uh, with some kind of a background, for example, like this case, we have a very light gray to separate the different sections, which is very important to have a distinguish, uh, between, distinguished line between the, the different you know things that we are trying to portray to the visitor but you can also make them a bit more fun by using the shape dividers so it's really cool and easy way to just add a shape divider at the bottom and just make the design a bit more playful and just like that like in this case we just make it more fun for the users to see you know something that is not just a straight line so that's the shape divider it's very simple and easy and you can shade change it to you know something different to make it more playful and the other thing is, of course, the animations. The animations are super simple. And for example, here we want to animate our, you know, headline. For example, you can just click on the headline and on the animation icon. And from there, we can add some kind of a 
animation for example something like this which is one of my personal per favorite which is fade from right or left or top or bottom because it has a fade and you know it's basically a very cool looking element design so you can also add it and animate the other things because it doesn't make sense to just animate one headline here we can have the same thing say light from bright but with 100 milliseconds delay and you can repeat here the same basically with 200 this time so it, it casts some kind of a progression and then the button we can finish with a 300 animation like this so just like that if we preview now our page we will see the design showing like very cool animation this is just to be more playful and just to help your visitors you know feel like more of an interactive type of a page it's not necessary in a, of course in some businesses it might just be better to be more um, not conservative but without animation sometimes it can a bit slow down your website uh, not too much but uh, yeah don't use them on all the places uh, just use them here and there to make it just more fun so these are a few uh, you know tips how to make it more fun with the animations and the shape dividers and to finalize with the tips about the pages is of course you have to check out the mobile version and the mobile view is of course very important that's why we have the ability to modify how our text look on mobile devices as well you can do it from the global settings and again from the text styling and we have these two options the desktop and the mobile version and basically the mobile you can again adjust just for mobile how you want to push the design of of the size of your elements so that it's always consistent throughout your design and it's smaller as some text might be too big for mobile and this way you can adjust your your design of your, the text the other options is of course if you want to hide different sections just click on these uh, options and let's say you don't want to have a section like this you can just hide it on mobile devices you want to replace it with something else you can just add a new block and just build it yourself if you want to do like let's say further modifications a cool way is to just copy this block just hide it here and just recreate it for mobile this way you can just delete a few things that you don't like and you want to focus on something else and you can have a completely separate design for mobile that will not affect your desktop version so just like that we can just click on save changes and now we have a different version for mobile for our design and of course this is personal preference however you want to design it but as you can see it does not affect your desktop version whatsoever so these are just a few tips on how to make your pages look really well make sure that you focus on paddings be consistent throughout your design, use the same fonts, use the same color, the global ones, make sure that you have very good alignment and consistency throughout your design and that you use the, basically the same visual representations, not too much text so that you give enough, give enough information and to make sure that you have enough call to actions throughout your design so that people can actually take the action that you want them to take on your pages. All right, this is for me. I hope that you enjoy these design tips and talk to you in the next video. Thank you for watching this video until the end. And if you enjoyed it, please like and comment below. Consider subscribing to the channel for more awesome videos every week.